In this video, we will solve few problems on DTFT. So let us consider this first problem where x of n is equal to delta n and we have to find its DTFT. So we know that x of omega is equal to the summation n from minus to plus infinity x of n a to the power minus j omega n. Now let us put the diff value of xn. So xn is delta n. So let us put it here. So we will get n from minus 2 plus infinity delta n a to the power minus j omega n. Now here we have to use the sampling property of the delta n. We know that xn into delta n gives x0 delta n. So using this property we can write that delta n into e to the power minus j omega n will be delta n into e to the power minus j omega into 0. So in place of this n we have to put 0 and e to the power 0 will be 1 therefore we will be left with only delta n. So in place of this thing we will be having only delta n. Therefore we can write that x of omega is equal to summation over n from minus 2 plus infinity delta n. And we know that delta n, summation of delta n from minus 2 plus infinity is equal to 1. Therefore, x of omega is equal to 1. It means that the DTFT of this delta n is equal to 1. It is constant everywhere. So if we plot it, we can also write that x of omega is equal to 1 and the angle is 0. So mod x of omega will be 1 and the angle of x of omega will be 0. So if you plot this, we will get, so this is omega axis, capital omega axis and this is mod x of omega and the magnitude is 1. It means it is magnitude 1. It means in the frequency, uh, the delta n signal contains all the frequencies from minus to plus infinity. So delta n contains all the frequencies from minus to plus infinity because this is omega and from minus to plus infinity the magnitude is 1. It shows that the delta n contains all the frequencies and if you go for its phase plot we will get that so this is omega and its phase is 0. This is the phase plot. So this completes the problem. So in this example we have xn equal to a raised to n u of n where a is a real number. So a belongs to set of real numbers. Now we have to find its DTFT. Now let us solve this. So again we have to put the definition here. Now in place of xn put the a to the power n un. So we will get
So this a to the power n u n to the power minus j omega n. Now since this u of n is defined only for 0 to infinity, so we can modify these limits as n from 0 to plus infinity a to the power n e to the power minus j omega n. Therefore, we can write this as x of omega is equal to a to the power minus j omega to the power n. Now, if we expand this sum, summation, we will get a geometric progression of gp. So, when n is equal to 0, we will get a to the power minus j omega to the power 0 which is 1. When n equal to 1, we will get a to the power minus j omega plus a to the power minus j omega into 2 and so on. So, we will have infinite terms here. Now, this is a geometric progression with common ratio. So, here common ratio of this GP is equal to a to the power minus j omega and its first term is 1. Now, we know that summation of infinite terms of a GP is equal to a upon 1 minus r. a is the first term and r is the common ratio. So, in our case a is equal to 1 and the common ratio is a to the power minus j omega. Now, this sum as infinity will converge only if the mod of r is less than 1. So, in our case we have the common ratio as a a to the power minus j omega. So, for the convergence of this GP, we have to satisfy this condition that this common ratio should be, mod of this common ratio should be less than 1. And if we take mod, we will get mod of A should be less than 1. So, this is the condition for the conversion of, convergence of the GP or the convergence of the DTFTX of omega. So, this is the required condition. And if this condition is satisfied, then we will have x of omega as equal to 1 over 1 minus a to the power minus j omega because this is the common ratio and the condition is this. So, this is the dtft of the given signal means a to the power n u n has dtft as 1 over 1 minus a to the power minus j omega. So, this completes the problem. We can further explore this as x of omega is 1 over 1 minus a to the power minus j omega. Now, from Euler's identity, we know that to the power minus j omega is cos omega minus j sin omega. So, we can put it here and we will get x of omega is equal to 1 over 1 minus a cos omega minus j into a sin omega. Now, our purpose is to find the magnitude and phase of this x of omega. So, we can have mod x of omega is equal to the mod of this thing. So, 1 over. So, this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So, we will have its magnitude as a cos omega square plus this one minus a cos omega one square plus sin square omega. So, this is the magnitude of x of omega. Now, we have to calculate the phase of x of omega. So, let us write 
this expression on the next page. So we have x of omega equal to 1 over 1 minus a cosine omega minus j a sine omega. We can also write it as 1 plus j0 upon 1 minus a cosine omega minus j into a sine omega. So this is the real part, this is the imaginary part, here this is real part and this is imaginary part. Now we know that the angle of a complex number in the form x plus jy is equal to tan inverse y by x. So using this formula we can write the angle of this will be Therefore, we can write that the angle of x of omega in this case it is tan inverse a sin omega upon 1 minus a cosine omega. This is the phase. Let us consider one more example. In this case, x of n is equal to minus a to the power n u of minus n minus 1. We have to find its dtft. So, its dtft will be x of omega summation in from minus to plus infinity. Now, we can take this minus n outside. So we'll get minus n and this thing a to the power n u of minus n minus 1 j omega n. Now if we look at this expression we see that the this quantity u of minus n minus 1 is defined only for min n from minus infinity to minus 1. Therefore, we can modify these limits as n from minus infinity to minus 1 a to the power n e to the power minus j omega n. Now, we can also write it as minus, I can write it n from minus 1 to minus infinity. This will be a to the power minus j omega all to the power n. Now, we can expand this summation. So, let me take this minus n outside and we will get for n equal to minus 1 we will get a to the power minus j omega all to the power minus 1 plus a to the power minus j omega all to the power minus 2 and so on. For n equal to minus 3, we will have an additional term all to the power minus 3 and so on. So, we will get infinite terms here. So, this is again a geometric progression. Here the common ratio is a to the power minus j omega to the power minus 1 and the first term is equal to again a e to the power minus j omega to the power minus 1. So the summation of this gp will be so, this gp will converse only if mod of this quantity 
a to the power minus j omega to the power minus 1 is less than 1. It means 1 over a to the power minus j omega mod less than 1. And this is nothing but 1 over mod a should be less than 1 implies that mod of a should be greater than 1. So this is the condition for convergence of this GP. So if this condition is satisfied, in that case we have x of omega is equal to the first term a upon 1 minus r. This is the formula for the summation of geometric progression. In our case we have a is So this is the formula. Now let me erase it from here and put it for our problem. So we have a to the power minus j omega to the power minus 1. This is the first term and 1 minus the common ratio a to the power minus j omega to the power minus 1. So this will be 1 over a to the power minus j omega upon 1 minus 1 over a e to the power minus j omega. Now if we simplify this, we will get 1 over a e to the power minus j omega minus 1. And remember that we have this minus sign. So we have to also include this which we forgot to include here. So we can include it right now. So this will be minus 1 and it is 1 over 1 minus a to the power minus j omega. So this is the Fourier transform. And this is defined when mod of a is greater than 1. So we have calculated that minus a to the power n u of minus n minus 1. It has dtft of 1 over 1 minus a to the power minus j omega when mod of a is greater than 1. So this is the end of this problem.